Hello, my name is Emma Williamson and I'm Head of Careers and Information here at WCG. As the parents and supporters of young people, it's important that we understand their options and obligations for when they reach 16 and for when they finish their GCSEs. Things have changed considerably since we were in their position. And as careers advisors, we understand that you'll have many questions about what your young person should do when they finished at secondary school. But firstly, we need to tackle the legal bit. For the last seven years, young people have had to stay in education, training or employment until they are 18. And additionally, if young people do not achieve a grade four or more in English and Maths GCSE, they will be required to resit it. So what does that look like in practice? Well, they could stay on at secondary school and join the sixth form or another school sixth form. They could attend a further education college like WCG, or they could do an apprenticeship or a traineeship. So let's take a look at this qualifications ladder. So if your young person is in school at the moment and completing their GCSEs, they are working towards a level two qualification on this qualifications ladder. They're aiming to achieve a full level two qualification, which if they've been studying GCSEs is five GCSEs at grade four or above to include English and maths. So let's look at those different routes that your young person can take in a little bit more detail. Well, firstly, they could do A-levels at a sixth form or at a college like WCG. A-levels are available in a variety of different academic subjects. They're exam-led and they require lots of independent study. They offer a route into university, employment or degree level apprenticeships. Students are required to have a full level two qualification in order to progress onto A-levels, but do check the entry requirements because some A-levels will require certain grades to have been achieved at GCSE. They could also do a vocational or a work-based qualification. Generally, young people would take these qualifications at a further education college, although some school sixth forms do offer them now. These qualifications are related to broad employment areas such as business, engineering, IT or health and social care. You might have heard of them as being BTEX or City and Guilds qualifications. Vocational courses also lead to specific jobs such as hair and beauty or construction. Generally these courses are modular and offer a practical work-based approach, but there are still some exams. These qualifications can offer a route into employment or an apprenticeship or onto higher education too. You might have also heard of T-Levels, which are a new range of qualifications that have work placements embedded into the programme. These are also designed to act as a direct route into employment. Young people can also join an apprenticeship where they will work alongside experienced staff in an employment setting. They'll earn a wage and get holiday pay, and typically they'll attend a college or a training provider for around one day to, per week to gain underpinning knowledge. Traineeships also offer young people the chance to take part in a skills programme with a work placement and these are generally several months in length. So let's go back to the qualifications ladder. You may be thinking, what if my young person doesn't achieve a full level two qualification at GCSE to enable them to progress onto a level three qualification? Or perhaps they don't achieve English or maths at grade four at GCSE. Please don't worry. There are courses available at different levels in further education colleges that will enable them to progress and they can retake their English and Maths alongside their qualification. However, do be aware that it's unlikely for a young person to stay on at their own school sixth form without at least a full level two qualification. We know that most teenagers will not have a career plan at this stage, but our team of careers advisors at WCG are often asked how young people can be supported at this time. Have a plan A, but also have a backup plan ready, just in case exam results are not as expected. We're often asked about entry criteria for courses. Here, the key is to research, to look at the course profile found on the WCG website there you'll find information on the entry criteria. Your challenge is to ensure that the entry criteria roughly matches your target grades. If you're unsure about your target grades, have that conversation with your school. 
We advise students to work hard and access all the extra support available them to at school to help them just do really as well as they possibly can in their GCSEs. Better grades will give them more options and also that means that they may not have to retake English and Maths alongside their full-time course. Be clear on what the entry requirements are for the courses that they are applying for. We'd really recommend that you research your options in more detail by attending open events and discovery days at six forms, further education colleges and other training providers as well. To begin the career journey, look to book an appointment with your careers advisor at your school. If you're unable to meet with your careers advisor, you're very welcome to contact us to book in an impartial advice and guidance session with one of our careers advisors. Be around for GCSE Results Day in August, or if you are away, then make sure you have internet and phone access so that you can contact schools, colleges or other providers if you need to. Finally, we wish your young person the very best of luck this year in the GCSEs and we look forward to supporting them on the next stage of their journey.